Oh yeah, better make sure my microphone works after I set it up. Yeah, it seems fine. Much better. True. I'm just getting myself a drink and stuff before I actually start.
I was just grabbing some water. I have downed it, so we're good to go. Time to uh, try and get this boss done. Yeah, I have been playing around with my camera and my microphone again, trying to get them somewhere where I like them. So, we're lucky because this, this bonfire is right next to the boss room. So this is the end boss, the DLC. Once he's done, we only have one more boss to do. So, time to get into the rhythm for this one again. Because I always find there's like a rhythm to the bosses. And as long as I can like get into that rhythm, I'm all right. So now he's gonna jump and he does the slam. I'm gonna dodge, bastard. And another slam and I need some distance. And I need to drink as well. And that was the worst time to drink. Right, now I need to wait for him to do something, then I know it's safe to drink again. So he's doing a slam. I can drink. It's all about waiting for him to make the move and then reacting to it. sips that was entirely the wrong time to drink then as well there phase transition right now we have the big bad version with these fancy teleports and shit this is frisbees this is crossbow again Gail. Looking for the lightning there. Lightning should be any second. Oh! Cast that at the wrong time. Yeah, that brought him to his first explosion as well. See, so yeah, I can get him decent on way down. I've just got to polish it up at that last bit, not be so risky. But yeah, it's brutal there. This is the final boss of the second DLC. And he's like, very easy for him to just kill me in a couple of hits. How did that miss? He should have hit me then. It must have just because I've been on the elevation or something. But yeah, he should have hit me then with that stab. Right, come on, do something so I can heal. That'll do. Thank you. 
stab. Maybe he has a little tantrum. Ah! Rolled at the wrong time. But I could do it. I just need to get the timing and everything down. Hi, Greg! Doing it, Greg. How are you doing? Right, one, two. Worst time to fire that, but it, at least it hit him. Now give me a second to heal. Oops. I was too greedy again then. transition I'll do some. I don't want to get caught. That'll do. that time so I need to probably switch to great heavy in the final phase so we'll stick with crystal for this phase because it's good enough to get a nuke off on him and then switch to great heavy for the final phase for the quicker casts and reactions him out the air. Ooh, final swing. Did not spot that last time. Tantrum. I like this fight as well. Turn 
Bertram. Now we switch to Great Heavy. Like, it's not as much damage, but it's a hell of a lot more casts. So I should be able to just wear him down. that aggressive bit now. So if it comes down to it and I've got enough healing in the final phase, I might go and change up my potions so I've got more mana and less healing. It depends how I actually do with the... Uh -huh. All depends how cleanly I do this bit which isn't very at the moment but I'm being greedy there wait for him to act and then then cast Yeah, this is probably a dead run. I've taken way too much damage in this first part. Just through being silly more than anything else. Like that, I should have just run then. a little bit just so you can see his health bar properly right come on Gail
run away from the tantrum. I realized I was near a wall then. it back to trial and get us some more casts and I'm also in case we get really close I'm gonna put you on my bar so come here Andre Estus, we're gonna go for one more Estus flask. And I'm gonna pop an ember for my attempts now as well. So I've got slightly more casts. I'll have more health and a bit more resistance thanks to the ember. And if he does get really close, I've got the Hidden Blessing and Divine Blessing to restore my casts to my HP. So, let's go full Soul Spear this time. Let's see how far five Magic Estus gets us if I'm just doing Soul Spear. Because the other thing it helps with is in his final phase. The soul seer will also stagger him when he's firing his crossbow and stuff. So I'm hoping that'll give me a little bit more recovery time. If I can like 
stagger him out of crossbow shots and stuff. Or even just get big hits off when he's uh, doing his fancy explosion thing. from Teleports is roll once and then sprint. But this seems like a decent amount of uh, Ash and Estus to have. I just gotta make sure when I go to the last one to then switch to the Great Heavy. If I switch to the Great Heavy Soul Arrows for basically my final bar. Ah, oh, he was too far away, that one. I need to make sure not to miss as well. Like, try and make sure every spell hits.
No. Final turn on it. See, look, he ducks down like that and my spell misses. That's well me. I'm just going to start that again. See all the blood stains around here from everybody else doing the boss. Sloppy, didn't realise I was running into the wall. Right. Bum 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 bum. swing again. This one. He's tough. <laughs> I even swapped things around a bit so I could have more spell cast, but he's still tough. Like his last like quarter of his health he gets really aggressive.
Ah, oh, that last spin again. Ah. a bit funny then um, that's what I said I was going to do that I didn't do um, slightly more resistance slightly more health
breathe for about the last minute of that fight. <laughs> He's dead. Fucking got him. <laughs> Oh look, poor dead man. Right, one boss left. So one more. Right, let's head back to Phylink. Get us some levels with these souls, because he's worth a lot. And then we need to nip back to the other DLC for a second. So where are we at? Thank you. Level 113. More int, please. <sighs> yeah, for like the last third of his health, I was holding my breath. <laughs> right. What does Gale's soul get us? We can get his sword. Great sword of slave Knight Gale, the only weapon that you kept with him beginning to end. Originally an executioner's sword made for decapitation. Heavily chipped and stained with the blood of countless battles. Quick any spells or anything off him. Or we can get his crossbow. Ooh. So neither of those is useful, so I'm gonna eat his soul. See how much it's worth. Yum. 20,000. How much do I need for a level? 80,000. <laughs> no chance I've got enough souls stashed away for that. <sighs> no. Nothing. Right. So we picked up the um, remains as well. And there's someone we need to go and give those to. Is it? In the chapel? Yeah, she's upstairs in the chapel. There's a little girl he was meant to be bringing the uh, paint back for, so let's go and give it to her and see what she says. Yeah, it's all on fire. Right, up the ladder. Let's go and see what the little girl says. Dee 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 dee. Let's give it to her. Give blood of the dark soul. My thanks, Ashen One. With this, will I paint a world? Please tell me my name. I have to name this painting after. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. My thanks. I will paint a world. The new painted world's going to be called Beef Curtains. Coming back. I'm sorry. My thanks, Ashen One. I will assuredly finish the painting. You better. Cold, dark, and very How long her hair is as well. One day. It's going to be burning soon. Someone a goodly hope. My thanks. I will have a one. There we go. Right. Is that done? Time for the actual, actual last boss. It's gonna be fun. Um, so we need to go to to Firelink. Time to hand everything in. Let's go. Right, time to start placing all these. So there's Yorm. Um, oh, I have to jump off again, don't I? And we've got Ugh. 
our buddies the Abyss Watchers. We'll do them all in one go. Then we've got... So you see it puts an Ember effect on the, the thrones as well. Hey, it's Invasion Guy. Here we have... Princes. King Lothric. See, Lothric just buggered off. We've got... Here we go. So there's those four filled. And then we have you for the twin princes. Here we go. We have all the cinders in place on our shrine maiden. Moving over there. Let's go and see what she says. Over your shoulders, feed onto them. Shoulders have bugged out, they usually flopped down. Somehow it's turned up. The five lords sit their five thrones, all thanks to thee, most worthy of lords. Yep. Ashen one, with the lords as thy witness, bend thy knee afore the bonfire's coiled sword. And let the Lord's embers acknowledge thee as their true heir. A true yeah. Lord, fit to link the fire. Alright. Farewell. So, kneel. See what happens. Noble Lords of Cinder. The fire fades. And the Lords go without thrones. <sighs> Surrender your fire. To the true heir. There goes the flame. Almost, Dave. I beat Gale. On my way to Soul of Cinder now. Once Soul of Cinder is done, then we'll have done it. Yeah, I did. I did Gale. And he gets really aggressive in his like final quarter of his health. I literally held my breath for all of it. <laughs> I was sat there like, let him do something, cast. Let him do something, cast. Didn't breathe the entire time. I'll make a highlight of it later. It's all gone dark. So yeah, now we're in the dark, messed up filing shrine. And it's empty. But... If we look outside... It's even more messed up. Everything is collapsed inwards. And Ring City is like... Over that way somewhere. 
However, if we touch this, we go into the massive invasion area. Like, I have seen so many invasions occur in just this short path up there. So we are still embered. So we'll stay that way. And we're just going to go. I'm going to stick with these two spells. With the setup I've got to beat Gale. See how I did with... Uh, see how I do with Soul himself. And see which ending I get. Because I'm sure I've fluffed some bits. Like I definitely fluffed the Lord of Dark ending. Hello. Oh, you take a bunch of damage. So do I. Right, gotta learn his moves. So you're a big delayed spin. Multiple slashes, aren't you? Because you're a curved sword. Yep. Oh, he's doing bugger all to me, though. Because of all this armor and stuff I've got on. Take that. Come on. Final evolution. It's Gwen! Plim, plim, plom. Oh, this combo's gonna kill me. <laughs> I do love the, this version of Gwyn's theme, though. Yeah, this isn't gonna be too bad. Spells do a lot to him. Or at least Crystal does. Plim, plim, plom. I've got 45, I may as well use them. No grab. Yeah. This is just a case of learning his moves. Like the first bit, I can pretty much just bowl through. What am I going to do though? Take them off because I'm not going to need them.
I forgot that spell existed. So when he throws it up, look for the ball raining down again. Wizard fight. Come here, honey ho. And I went straight into it. Typical. his health going back up. Watch for them raining back down. Souls 3 complete. Every boss done as a fat rolling wizard called Beef Curtains. Right. I have the summon sign. Let's do this one then. I like the Firekeeper ending. Yeah. So. Final build. Quartz Sorcerer's Staff plus 10, because it's got the best magic scaling. Scholar's Candlestick plus 10, because it boosts magic damage. I had Grass Crest Shield for stamina in my offhand if I needed it. And Simple Cestus for more magic regen if I needed it. Crown of Dusk for more magic damage. Iron Dragon Slayer Armor, which I picked up from the DLC. Sage Ring for faster spells. Scholar Ring for more Int. Young Dragon Ring for more damage on spells. Bellowing Dragon Crest for more damage on spells. So that's my final build. Finished it at level 115. So let's summon the Firekeeper. Let's get the Firekeeper ending.
What's she doing? Quickly fades. Because we robbed it. Darkness will shortly settle. But one day, tiny flames will dance across the darkness. Like embers linked by Lord's past. And everything goes dark. Wait, I can still move. Hearest thou my voice still? I was going to try and hit her then. <laughs> there we go. There's the end. We did it. So that's now Dark Souls 1 done with a melee only build. Dark Souls 2 done with punch melee. Dark Souls 3 done as a fat wizard source, well, fat rolling wizard. So, gotta decide what to do with Bloodborne next, but I'm gonna nip to the loo, so I will leave you here for a couple of minutes with the fancy, uh, fancy credits music, but yeah, Bloodborne will be next up. It'll be the next game. Gotta decide what build to do for it. So we've got a couple options, but I'll go over them when I get back, because I need a wee.
right, yeah, you missed the end of it. So I did Gale, the boss at the end of the DLC, and I was holding my breath for about half the fight. So yeah, the uh, the next game I'll be playing, I'm just going to save Elden Ring for a bit, we're going to do Bloodborne next. So we need to decide, put camera back on, need to decide what build I'm going to do for Bloodborne. So I put a list up on Discord, but the popular ones seem to be, there is Tentacle Man. So there is a basically like items you can get at the end of a, a normal playthrough. And they will get you like tentacles and spells and stuff. But it is another spell based build. Um, there is Scumbag, which is. I know Bloodborne quite well. So I just use like all of the advantages and stuff I have that I know of to beat the game and just fly through it there's Wolverine which is um, basically I'd start as the tentacle guy and there's claws I can use instead so the moment I can switch over I'd switch over scumbag scumbag Sounds like we might be doing scumbag then. But yeah, next week when we get round to uh, it'll be the Thursday most likely. No, we will start with Bourne make our character and we will do my scumbag run where I will just try and use every advantage I can get so this character beef curtains level up get the last couple of levels they are level 115 to finish so now just for the rest of the screen until I get bored. I'm gonna stick song requests and stuff on and I'll switch over to Destiny and I'll just stick around in Destiny. We'll listen to music and stuff. So that's Dark Souls done for now. And I'll be right back while I switch everything over to Destiny and turn song requests on. Yeah, beef curtains. Kelly's idea as well. <laughs> 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 